Now, next step is going to be to look at how to set up your specific users and your supervisors for a JVA Perimeter Patrol. Um, we're going to go to the Setup tab and from there click on System Configuration. We've already discussed, briefly discussed zones and connections. Um, we're going to move over to the User tab and I'm going to just quickly do an uh, explanation for you guys underneath the user tab. Um, it starts off with our what is called our normal users. Um, this will typically be a normal security guard that is on duty, um, either day shift or night shift, or if you've got specific guards that's doing specific shifts. Um, this is where one can enter a specific username and password for one of those specific guards. Um, we've also got an option here for supervisor or supervisor group, which has uh, got a higher rights than your normal user. Um, as it states here, supervisors can arm and disarm the system and close resolved alarms. So what would normally happen is a normal user do not have rights to arm or disarm any of the zones in the actual perimeter patrol. Um, so when he needs to, for whatever reason, arm and disarm, he will have to get the supervisor out to do that uh, specific functionality. If there is a, a alarm activation, and it's being recorded in the event log, which we will cover in a different video. It does mean that the supervisor will have to um, come in to close that specific fault off in the event view. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type a name and then change the password to show you guys how to change uh, a user. We can say our guard's name is uh, John. And for John specifically, we're going to make his password um, the same as his name, which is also John. And John would now have the functionality when a perimeter patrol starts up to log in as his user with his username and his password, which will then be saved in the database, giving you a record of which user is currently or was at that point on duty. And John will then just be able to look at the actual JVA Perimeter Patrol map and at the event log, but he will not be able to at any point uh, arm or disarm the system. Um, we're going to set up a, a supervisor as well. We could say that the supervisor's name is Philip, and we're going to make Philip's password his name as well just to make it easy and at this point we've already now set up a normal user and a supervisor and just another option I would like to explain at this point full screen mode um, requires a password to exit full screen mode the reason for full screen mode is that perimeter patrol is the most important software running on that specific PC in a control room you do not want the guards minimizing perimeter patrol, uh, perhaps playing games on the PC or perhaps using the internet. Um, by saying require a password to exit full screen mode, it means that as soon as a user or supervisor, meaning a guard, minimizes or tries to minimize perimeter patrol, it would actually request a specific password for this case, we're just going to type in um, admin, or, or actually I'm going to use four zeros as the password for full screen mode, and I'm going to click Save Changes. At this point, if I go back to Setup, um, System Configuration, and click on Users again, you would have noticed that after I've saved, it has saved my user John, which is a a normal guard and it also saved um, my user Philip which is then a supervisor with rights to be able to arm and disarm and also close resolved alarms. 
one can add another user by clicking on the add button underneath user there's already a default of four users i'm gonna say add and we can possibly add a um, second uh, guard if we didn't want to change any of those users um, for this purpose let's say um, dave and we will again use the same password as dave's name just to make it easy uh, we have added to user dave um, at this point we can also decide that we would like to keep the user but we want the actual user disabled where we can untick um, in the enabled block that will still keep the settings the username and the password for dave in the actual program but dave will not be able to log in with um, his username and password at this point we could do exactly the same for supervisors by also adding another user and and we'll be able to also mark that user as enabled or uh, click it off so that that user will be disabled um, another function on this user's uh, configuration tab that I would like to mention is your administrator password. This is the very first password that we've used logging into JVA Perimeter Patrol, which was four zeros. What is very important is when changing this password, please make sure that you do write the administrator password down. Once the password has been changed, there is no different way logging into perimeter patrol if one don't know what that password is we'd possibly be looking at uninstalling perimeter patrol reinstalling perimeter patrol and then redoing the setup setup of the actual perimeter patrol that has covered all the options that we've got at the moment under users and we're going to move on to the next section which is alarms and emails